Hello and welcome back to Biotope Aquarium Simulator. And I do apologize if you're hearing noise in the background, it's laundry day. Uh, but we are at the tutorial tank. We've gotten rid of, oh yeah, here is our money, $332. I bought a couple of things and sold a couple of things. We sold 81 fry uh, yes, or this morning, 81 fry about an hour ago which uh, netted us $156. So on top of our uh, allowance that we got, uh, we're sitting at 332. Uh, just to look at the household right now, we're inside a level level 11, so hopefully by the end of the week and we make some more fry, uh, get some more money. But if not, that'll be all right. Our budget is $70. Uh, we like Electricity was $49, $50. Uh, past week, did we buy food? I may have bought some food and then other consumables. I guess that was the tincture for the uh, plants. Uh, new plants, 20, oh, this is current week, $21 in new plants this week. And I'll show you those plants here. Uh, this little red plant here. And it's doing really good in this tank. I've never purchased this before. It's called the Cylindric Fruit Seed Box. It was $10.50, so apparently I bought two. And I put one in here and one in the Red Serpe Tetra tank. It doesn't do good, or at the moment it wasn't doing good, in the uh, Neon tank. But I have rearranged the tanks a little bit. We've got a, a white background now here in the tutorial tank. We've got a new... Um, uh, landscape here. Uh, the plants, just this is the only thing I've added. Uh, I added this and then kind of added through some of these things up too. So uh, this is kind of what it looks like. Here is our tank, different angles. And I kind of like it. It's clean. It looks clean. I mean, there's no wood in it, so the water isn't bad, you know, isn't dingy. So that is the tutorial tank for, let's see how you all are doing for food. So it's uh, almost, yeah, let's give them a little bit of food, hell. Uh, let's give them a little bit. We'll, we'll probably have to buy some. Yeah, probably. So there you go. There's three. You all can have that. So our Black Widow Tetras, oh yeah, and I got rid of the smaller uh, Black Neons. There's no Black Neons in here, so this is just a large tank. Yeah, look at the size of this tank. It's 144 liters, where the 60 centimeter tanks are 60 uh, liters. This one is a little bit bigger than the tutorial tank, which is the Swedes tank, and then the big 120 centimeter tank. So I'm thinking about getting rid of one of these tanks and go in with a bigger one. Not not sure yet. I do like my tank. I do like I like what I see anyway. So let's go to the neons. Uh, we've redid them as well. Oh shit. Here is the new neon tank. We still got the wood in it which brings the uh, pH down. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. We have got just a couple of plants in here. And this is new. Well, I bought it a long time ago. It's, it's new. And then the rock and that is the same. So here is our neon. No fish in the bottom. We've sold everything. Everything, everything. And everybody likes it. They're doing good. You've got 1.24 uh, nutrients in the water, so they're good right now. I like my neons. In a small tank, these small fish, they look pretty neat. I like them. Uh, the next tank is the Serpe Tetris, which we've made a change to that as well. We went back to the blue uh, background. We still have our big plant. We've got another one in the back back here. And here is a red... Uh, uh, the seed box, fruit seed box plant. Stress level is zero, so it's doing good. Uh, these are doing good. 
stress level zero, the fern. But this big plant, it's got a stress level of 8.2. What is it from? I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. What about its photosynthesis? It looks like it's doing its job catching light. I have no idea. But here is our Serpe Tetra tank. We'll take a look at it from the side. Gives them a lot of little places to hide. Okay, that is that. Uh, let's move on to the uh, Swedes tank. I didn't do a whole lot to it yet. So nothing has changed much here. We just got rid of the, we just have four. And their stress level is zero. So I think having too many fish in there, their stress level was tanking. So they they look good. 7.65. Oh, you all need some food. I didn't look at the surpays. I bet they're starving to death. They eat a lot. Give y'all close to two there. There you go. Well, they're fighting over it. There's some over here, boys and girls. What are you swimming upside down for? Oh, he's going to get it. He's going to be the first one to get it. These two boys. Boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, they like to hide, so we might get some rocks over here. We need to go back to the Serpe Tetra tank momentarily. And check their food. Yeah, 37. Yeah, they're going to starve to death. They're going to starve to death. Oh, no, no, not that much. Maybe four. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, again, I apologize for any noise here in the background. There they go. Look at them. They're beautiful. I love them. Love them, love them. I like them when they're up at the top of the tank. That's where the light's hitting on them. Down here below all these leaves, you can't, you can't see them. Uh... Let's go to the green spotted puffer fish. Here's our big girl. She's got a stress level of 2.3 and she's still 12.9 by 42. She won't breed, so we're not really happy about it. But pH a little low, could be higher. What's it sitting on? Ooh, and they're hungry too. So we will definitely feed them. give them that much. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But. There they go. She's going to get big. Quit swimming upside down. You're going to give yourself heartburn or something. Look at her up there at the light. That's awesome. Yeah, when they're up here. At the, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, she's going to grab that one way back there. Good job, girl. 2.3 stress, saturation 54.8. Submarine them down through here. It's a good looking fish. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just wonder if they'll do anything, puff up or what have you. That we don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep her until we get. Uh, <clears throat> until we get. Uh, a big girl. So. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, back to the Swedes tank, which is what I'm here to do, is a rock. We're going to look at, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, we're going to look at these. This is $15, this is $12, this is $9, this is $22, but this might match, I think, so we're going to buy one, and we're going to go, uh, is isn't a rock rock, it's just a formation, it's made of paper shade, so it's not going to do anything, make the uh, water hard, or anything like that, so, let's go here, See what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. Over here, maybe. Let's just drop it and see. 
knock all my damn plants down. Ooh, that looks good when it's turned sideways like that, but it's not really what I wanted. Uh, let's move this out here. Whoops. Pick that up. Turn it so it fits this way. Oh, shit. I had it right where I wanted it. I'm using the keypad to rotate it. Toward the back, maybe? It's going to be flat on top. slammed it down on that one. I don't like the flatness of the. It's got to be turned around. And maybe it should go on the bottom. And then we pile a little rock. Ooh, there it goes. There it goes. Push that stuff out of the way. Yeah. That made it look more natural, like something happened. We need to get rid of the artificial plant. Let's move it over here. Let's move it out, and then we'll put it back in. Uh, that rock back there. Highlands rock. Yeah, this rock right here. It. There we go. This one right here. Now. Oh, I can't push it back any further. <clears throat> I'd like it to go back there. And again, you can't do anything. If it's screwed up, it goes right into the thing. So, one of these deals where you have to move everything. Hide the filter. Grab our rocks. <clears throat> Not very good at decorating. I'd like to push it back. How can I push that back? It's sitting on the plant here. Get rid of that one. Sitting on that rock. Okay. Oh, did not mean to grab it. <clears throat> that might be something we can do there. Uh, is this a hatchery? I'm not sure if this is a hatchery or not. Let's grab this plant here. Bring it out right here at these rocks. Oh my gosh. You gotta be so careful. Maybe that's what that fixate is. Prevents you from accidentally messing it up. Oh, we got a rock back here. There we go. Maybe a couple of those. Maybe a couple of those back there would work. Oh, it's going to fall around back. Okay, that didn't work. We'll move it to the container for now. That's a hatchery, so we're going to get rid of the wood barrel. And yeah, let's get rid of that. We can decorate later. We've got a shell here. Okay, the rest of this is rocks, rocks, rocks.
There we go. <clears throat> now they don't like a whole lot of plants, but you know, I want plants. So we've got two of these. We'll drop that there. Maybe one over here. In, inside there, maybe. What the hell? You're not gonna work. You're not gonna cooperate. And you probably won't either. Let's try this little thing right here. Just kind of. That's a little place they can go hide out, I guess. There we go. That looks a little better. I don't particularly like this, but. What about you? Will you sit there nice and pretty? <clears throat> yeah. You're not going to cooperate. Maybe fixate. Maybe that'll stay there forever and not, not fall. And then let's put our little shells back up here. Maybe one right there. And maybe one right here. Oh, that one went way down there. Uh, I'll start there, and then here. So we got a little bigger rocks back here in the back. Uh, seashell there. I think that is a hatchery, so we don't have to worry about if if they were if they were able to uh, breed. So there we go. I don't know what that looks like. Y'all let me know. Too many rocks over here. Too many rocks over here. Maybe bring the grass to the front. I don't like putting grass up front just to me it seems weird but um, if it works for you let me know and that is what we were going to do that took a minute to to straighten up we probably should put some you know take all these out add another one of these rotate it so that it matches or something but uh, I'm kind of digging this. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.